Hello and welcome back. Uh, my name is Mrs. Manning and I'll be your algebra teacher this year. Uh, my classroom is in room 310 and uh, my email is different because my husband is also J Manning. So if you email me parents, my email is jmanning1 at ptisd.org, not J Manning. Um, so I wanted to talk about the supply list. If you look online, on my website, you will see a list of the supplies online. Um, I do want to tell you that, and I'll hold it up here so you can see it, but <clears throat> I do want to tell you that I have a lot of these supplies in my classroom. Um, I have, they're recycled. I have a lot of old binders, dividers, notebook paper, pencil pouches. It's a first come, first serve, but I have probably enough for all my students this year. So before you go and buy those things, have your student um, come talk to me and uh, get one of those, some of those items, because I know some of you have lots of children and these supplies are not cheap. So um, a lot of these things you'll just have around the house, pencil, notebook paper, red pen, highlighter. Um, you might, I have the three ring pouch, uh, pencil pouch and, a, and the dividers and the binder, but a Kleenex is helpful, especially around the time uh, winter hits. Um, earbuds, we need earbuds that are wireless, not wireless, sorry, the ones that have the wires because the, um, the Chromebook does not use the wireless um, or the noise canceling ones. And also hand sanitizer, of course, with what's going on with the COVID. We will occasionally use glue stick and scissors, so, and matte pencils if your student wants to bring those and put those in their little pencil pouch. Um, this year, we won't be able to keep notebooks in the room because of COVID and touching each other's um, notebooks as we're getting them off the shelf. So it will be something that your child will have to uh, carry home this year. Um, another thing I want to talk about is uh, um, the Skyward. Make sure that, you're, that you are on Skyward and you're able to see your child's grades. Um, this is a great way to see where they're, how they're doing, whether they're, they're progressing or not. And feel free to email me anytime that you have concerns. Also, we have um, teachers use, uh, math teachers use the uh, plan book, which is our, um, it's our lesson plans. And so if you would like that code to be able to see what our lesson plans are, um, you can actually download the assignments. You just can't see the tests or the keys to anything. Um, but if that interests you, let me know. Email me, and I will email that to you. I can't put it out there online. Um, and let's see. Be sure that your child uh, joins the Google Classroom. At this point, I don't have the Google um, codes. They're making some changes, and I want to make sure that you get the right one, the correct one. Um, just want to just uh, say this year is going to be different, as we all know. We've had lots of changes. Uh, we're going to need to make adjustments, I'm sure. Um, we're going to try what we call a flipped classroom, where the child will go home in the evening, look at a 10 or 15 minute video that a teacher has recorded, and they'll fill out their notes, and that would be their assignment. They would come back with that assignment, and that would be one of their daily grades. We will have quizzes over those, and also when they come back, we will reinforce uh, what they've learned. We will talk about the problems that they had, the things, the misunderstandings. And we feel like this is gonna be great because of you know so many students are affected by what's going on now and we never know um, if they're gonna be able to come to school or not. So we feel like this is a great uh, way uh, to do, to teach this year. If you have any concerns, please let me know. Um, I wanted to tell a little bit about my story so you know who I am as a teacher. Uh, many times we think teachers just, uh, they know everything, or students think they do anyway, that we know everything. But I wanted to tell my story, my math story specifically. Um, when I was in school, I was okay with getting a 70. I didn't have a whole lot of motivation as long as I passed. Never failed anything, but uh, just really wasn't motivated. I did not really have um, any future in mind. Um, as an eighth grader, my teacher felt like uh, I made B's in the class in math, and she put me in a pre-algebra class, um, which I was misplaced. I did really well in there, but I was with, I was behind my student, my peers who were going into Algebra 1. So I not only got behind in math, but I, my self-esteem kind of got a knock, got knocked down. 
Um, I went through high school my senior year, took Algebra two, barely made a 70. I'm pretty sure my teacher passed me so I could graduate. I tell my students that uh, if I had to take the test that they take today, I probably wouldn't even um, graduated, to be honest. Um, I went on to be a cosmetologist. That's someone who works with hair, and I did that for two years. Didn't really enjoy that, so at age 20, I decided I'm going to try to go to college, even though I never felt like I was college material. Didn't feel like I had what it took. Um, so I went to college and took algebra, college algebra, and made an A because I was motivated. I was trying. My teacher was amazing. She didn't leave out steps. So from that point, I decided I fell in love with math, and I, I got a math degree, which isn't easy to do. Spent a lot of time crying, not sure if I could even do it. So I understand when school's a struggle. I'm pretty sure I had attention issues when I was growing up, so I understand that as well. Um, so the reason I became a teacher is so that I can help you and your child um, in math. I know many times we come in and that's our least uh, favorite subject. We're afraid, um, but I just want you to know that I'm here to help you in any way. I understand your struggles. I was timid. Um, I understand all those things, but I've learned in uh, school, I didn't enjoy the process, still don't enjoy the process of, of going through all that, to be honest, but I do what I tell my students. If you have a goal, uh, think, keep that goal in mind. You know, the process is like learning an instrument. You first learn an instrument, you want to just get on that instrument and play it uh, like the people that you listen to that you really admire, but it's not like that. It's a, pro it's a uh, progression. Just like video games, you have different levels um, that you have to get through in football and basketball and volleyball. We don't just all of a sudden become like the greats that we see on TV that we want to become or admire. Um, there, there is that middle. So it's just a progression of staying focused, have a goal in mind. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I push my students. I will push you. I will love you. I'll respect you. I'll encourage you to ask questions. I'm here for you at any time because I know that you can be a lot better uh, than you think that you can be. Um, I know that from, from experience. So, um, just know that I'm here for you. If you have struggles, let me know. I have tutoring in the morning and in the afternoons. Um, and feel free, parents, to email me if you have any questions that I may not have um, addressed on this video. We're looking, looking forward to a great year. Can't wait.